Virginia is suing many of the world's largest banks for more than a billion dollars. The state attorney general says taxpayers are the victims in this lawsuit. NBC 29's Alana Austin joining us now in Richmond to explain. Hi, Alana. Good evening, Sharon. Court documents unsealed today in Richmond reveal the largest financial fraud suit ever filed in Virginia. The attorney general said that while his office has long suspected banks of deceptively selling shoddy stocks, shoddy securities, revelations from a whistleblower catapulted the case. It doesn't matter if you're a small-time con artist or a multi-billion dollar Wall Street bank. If you try to rip off Virginia consumers or Virginia taxpayers, we will catch you and you will be held responsible. J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, in all 13 of the world's largest financial firms might owe the Commonwealth a lot of money. I will not allow Virginians to be left holding the bag for the reckless, fraudulent practices of a few big banks who thought they were above the law. Leading up to the financial crisis, Attorney General Mark Herring says these firms hoodwinked the state retirement system by lying about the quality and riskiness of mortgage-backed securities. The shoddy investments resulted in a $383 million loss. Now the Attorney General's office has filed suit for triple in damages under the Virginia Fraud Against Taxpayers Act. They've seen their retirement accounts diminished. They've seen their houses go underwater. And so I want to again applaud the Attorney General for taking this step. The whistleblower in this case, a financial analysis company, used proprietary and sophisticated models to link data. If the Commonwealth succeeds in squeezing cash out of the banks, the firm will snag between 15 and 20 percent of the sum. It remains unclear how the money would return to the victims, but Herring assured the media that firms will not get away with preying on the vulnerable. Now, Sharon, from here, the banks will have 21 days to respond to the suit. They would have been served today. Settlement negotiations have not been able to take place yet. We don't know what the legal route will be here, Sharon, but it is likely to be a lengthy one. No doubt. Alana Austin, live in Richmond tonight. Alana, thank you.